Some teams began region play tonight. These two aren't for another couple weeks, but Midland Valley playing at Silver Bluff in a classic matchup between Aiken County teams. The Bulldogs defense stout tonight. Up 14-0 in the third because of plays like this. Tanner White completes the pass to John Green, but he's stuck by some defenders. Next play, White throws down the sideline. Green there to break it up again. The Bulldogs on offense and driving now. Jamal Washington looks downfield. For Travante Green on the catch, he's inside the five, and Silver Bluff punches it in the next play, 35-7. to The dogs all over Midland Valley. We're just getting started on week five of Football Friday Night. Football Friday Night is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Your CSRA Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, find new roads. Augusta Technical College, your leader in cybersecurity programs. Great deals on furniture. The deals are here. The deals are now. Game time, boy. Jostens Georgia Campus Services, celebrating moments that matter since 1897. Now, the leader in local high school football coverage, WJBF Sports brings you Football Friday Night. Welcome in. It's already week five of the high school football season and football Friday night. I'm Nathan Palm with Zach Hughes. And now the season really starts with several teams beginning region play tonight. Yeah, a handful of teams, including Harlem and Glen Hills, in our game night live matchup opening region play this evening. Yeah, we'll get to GNL and our Georgia games later in the show. Tonight we began in South Carolina with one of the premier games of the week. Fourth ranked North Augusta playing an unbeaten White Knoll who knocked off fifth ranked South Aiken by a point a few weeks ago. Fourth quarter, Yellow Jackets up 35 to 14. Look at that ball from Landon Washington to Dewan Bell for the touchdown. That made it 42 to 14 as North Augusta rolls. What an impressive win, 42 to 14 over White Knoll. The Barnwell Warhorses picking up right where they left off last season. 4 and 0, ranked second in the state in 2A, hosting Swansea tonight. We pick things up in the second quarter. Pete Elmore fakes the handoff, then finds Julius Arnold inside the 10-yard line. Next play, Michael Lee hammers it up the middle into the end zone. They also converted a two-point conversion, and Barnwell led 14-7. to Now in the third, Michael Lee channeling his own Marshawn Lynch, the Ooh. stiff arm, get off me. Carries two defenders out of bounds for a first down, and then four plays later, it's Brandon Harvey's turn. He hits the line, manages to break loose. And he takes it in for the touchdown as Barnwell led 21 to 7. And they roll 34 to 14. War Horses are 5 and 0 on the season. Denmark Alar and Blackville Hilda beginning region play tonight. Hi there. First quarter, no score. Hawks with the ball. John Williams takes the handoff for a 30 yard gain. Just pushed out of bounds. And then a few plays later, it's Jawan Isaac who takes it around the right side. He gets into the end zone. Two-point conversion, good. And Blackville Hilda led 8 to nothing. Second quarter now. Ty Tyreus Byers looking deep. Hits Jaquavian James for a huge pickup down to the 20-yard line. And then later Byers takes it himself. And Blackville Hilda led 16 nothing. And the Hawks roll 44 to 6 over Denmark Alar. Well, let's head out to Lions Field where Fox Creek was looking to rebound after a loss to Silver Bluff. Yeah, the Preds hosting Crescent from the upstate tonight. We pick things up in the first with Fox Creek already up 7 to nothing. Cameron Mitchum rolls out, finds John Tavius Butler in the back of the end zone. Preds take a 14-0 lead. Crescent answers on the next drive. Lewis handling the high snap, throws out to the receiver. Martin, he makes a few moves. He's off to the races. No one can stop him. 50-yard touchdown. Tigers still trailing Fox Creek 14-7. Preds ready to score again in the second. Mitchum rolls out to his left, throws it up for Dustin Barnes. Makes the catch. Nice job getting the feet in bounds. That's a touchdown. Fox Creek up 21-7. Preds win in a high-scoring one, 48-28 over Crescent. Another team from the upstate in the CSRA tonight, Greenwood in town, taking on an Aiken team and new coach J.W. Montgomery still seeking their first win of 2017. Greenwood jumps out to the early lead on a short touchdown run, but it wouldn't take long for Aiken to answer. First play after the ensuing kickoff. Hand off to Jeremiah Green. Gets away from the defender in the backfield and shows off his speed. 
53 yards for the touchdown. But the game belonged to Greenwood. Up 14 to 7 in the first. A beautiful pass by their quarterback, Yarborough Dre, for the touchdown as Greenwood goes up a couple of scores and it didn't get any better, unfortunately, for the Hornets. 51 to 14. Aiken falls to Greenwood. Speaking of Greenwood, that's where Strom Thurmond was tonight. The Rebels, the fourth ranked team in Class 3A. Ooh. Look at that hit e. by Jamil Martin. And then later on the drive, Jaquan Edwards takes the handoff, finds the hole, but the ball pops loose. And Emerald recovers in the ensuing drive. Emerald able to get in the end zone as Strom Thurmond drops his first game of the season. Final score, 26-17. to 17. Well, that wraps up our South Carolina highlights for the night. Yeah, but we've still got some region opening games in Georgia to get to, including our game night live contest and a battle of undefeateds. Highlights of ARC and Greenbrier when football Friday night returns. Supporting high school athletics, McDonald's, proud sponsor of football Friday night.